Hi there, my name is Patrick and in this series I'm going through various features within Engine that you might not be aware of. This video will be going through the possibility to change the autofocus and flash properties of the camera when using Fuforia Engine. To be focused correctly onto the physical track environment is essential for a convincing AR experience. For this video you don't need to use any particular target. I will be using one of the image targets from the core samples on the Unity Asset Store. Let's start with changing the focus mode. I'll create a new script in Unity which I will call the camera focus script. Inside we can create a method from where we will call our code. We'll call it start Fuforia focus. Before we write our code we must make sure that we're using the Fuforia namespace. We should change the focus mode only when engine is successfully started. We'll do that by subscribing the new method to the on Fuforia started event which is inside of the Fuforia application instance. Now the method is only called when Fuforia is started. In the public method itself, I will set the focus mode, which is done through the camera device class. You'll be able to retrieve the camera class inside of the Fuforia behavior instance. I'll type Fuforia behavior instance camera device set focus mode. Here you can see that we're able to choose from a bunch of different modes. The most helpful mode is the continuous auto mode which will ensure that the camera is always focused onto the target. You can find more information about the different focus modes in the description down below. When the app is built to my device, you're able to see the differences between not using the script and using the continuous focus mode. You're able to see that when I put my hand in front of the camera, the focus is changed automatically on the left compared to the right. Next, I'll show you how to enable and disable the flash property, which can mostly help in darker environments. In very specific cases, such as non-reflective model targets, the flashlight can even help with the recognition by better highlighting the edges of the tracked object. I will create a new script called change flashlight. Within the script, I'll create a new public method called set flashlight and add a boolean value to the method property. With the method property, I'm able to turn the flashlight on and off by adding the method to a checkbox, for example. Secondly, we'll make sure to use the Fuforia namespace. And lastly, inside of the method, we'll set the flashlight property in the same camera device class as before. We'll write Fuforia behavior instance camera device set flashlight and pass the enabled value as parameter. Back in Unity, we'll add a canvas and a checkbox to the scene. Once added, we can attach the set flashlight method to its event. When I build the app to my device, you can see that I'm able to turn on and off the flashlight with a simple checkbox. Even with little light, we're now able to track the image target much easier. I'm Patrick with Fuforia Engine, and I hope this tip helped you better understand how to change the camera properties. You can find more information regarding the camera with Fuforia in the description down below. Make sure to subscribe and share your thoughts for more tech tips from Fuforia. Enjoy developing and until next time!